Okay, here we are continuing the introduction to the SAS environment, the workspace, and just generally how to move around in SAS. I'm going to uh, launch SAS as we did last time. I'm going to, I don't want the tour. Of course, I can, uh, and, and as I told you last time, you have to, every time you come into SAS, you should create um, the SAS data folder. Um, so, SAS data, and I'm going to browse. This is how we tell SAS. All we're doing here is saying when we want to save something permanently, this is where this is the folder uh, to which we would like to save our work. So that didn't work. Um, it didn't work because I didn't double click this. So I wanted to show you that. Confirm that this is that, that your folder is displayed here. And I'm going to click the button that says Enable at Startup. What this means, I'm working on my own computer. I have a home uh, student version of SAS that I got through the university uh, for about, I think, $50, which is a great deal, I thought. But um, since it's my computer every time, I just I want it to point to that folder every time. So in the future, I won't have to do that. I'm going to press OK, and I'm just going to confirm. Yeah, the SAS data folder is in there. There's nothing in it, which makes good sense. And I'm going to leave my Explorer guy. You should be familiar with this uh, already from the last window. Um, and so, so far I've introduced you to the Explorer window, the Log window, the Editor window. And what's left is just the Output window. We need to know, you know where the output is um, and what, it, what it's used for. So let's create a little program here. Um, let's call this, uh, let me do SAS, save something to SAS data just to show you what it's like. And uh, this is the input statement tells me what variables. It just I'm just naming the variables here, and I'm telling SAS, hey, there are going to be two variables. And the data line statement tells SAS that the information that follows is the data. Um, so two, oops, two, one, semicolon, and then run. And we're, we're going to go over this in much greater detail, so don't worry about it if you didn't if that was too fast. I'm trying to just show you how the output window works and the logs. So we ran this and as we saw last time we look in the log and there are no errors so that's a good good sign and with any luck uh, we have quick now stored in SAS data. Yes we do. We double click on that to inspect it. Hey looks good. That's exactly what we typed in. Our variables are all there. And if we want to very quickly we can see that um, this is our data set. This is the designation. You can see it's SAS7BDAT um, is the file type, and that is a data set. Um, now, uh, one thing I'd like to show you before we move on to looking at the output window is how to save a program. Notice that this is a data set, but it has no program codes attached to it. Um, so I'm going to move back up so that we stay um, where I like to be on the Explorer, but this is our program. This is where we tell SAS the operations that we want done, and, and you know this is our code. And to save this, we need to save it as a, as a SAS file. So um, I created a, a folder uh, while I was offline that's called My SAS Programs. So I'm going to save this as quick, and this is really important. You don't want to do a bunch of you know coding and then lose your coding. Um, when I was starting off, uh, I did that and it was very frustrating. But you can see here that now in, in the folder that I just designated in my SAS programs, I've got our little program, quick.sas. Now, for me, I don't know the, the reason I need to investigate this, but when I double click from here, um, to, if SAS is not open, I have uh, trouble opening it. I just don't have my default settings set properly. If you encounter that problem, just launch SAS first. Let me show you here. Let me uh, now I've closed that one and just do file open program and there my quick thing is. So you can see the uh, it you know brings the program up uh, very quickly and very easily. Now in future videos we're going to go over how to uh, how to do these what's called a data step and a proc step. Those are the the two main things with which you need to be familiar if you're going to be proficient in SAS. Um, but uh, first, you know, the, the data step is the step, you know, you can see we've, we, it starts with the word data, and it's the step that tells SAS, uh, it, it's our input step, it's where we uh, input the data that we want to be working with, and we'll, we'll go over that in much greater detail in future videos, but 
right now I just want to show you these two to, sh to introduce you to the, the four windows. Explore, log, uh, the editor here, which is where the cursor is blinking, and the output window that I'm getting ready to show you. But um, So let's do what's called a proc step, short for procedure, and we're going to do proc print. Um, this is the print procedure. This is how we print our data. And we have to tell SAS what data, it is, what data set we would like printed. So I've saved this data set under the name sasdata.quick, uh, um, or more accurately, SAS data is, this tells it what folder it's saved in or what library, where, in, short, in short, where to find the information that I want to print. And then I always do run and note that after every line is a semicolon. And I'm going to do a submit selection. Okay, well great. The log tells me that the, de that the three observations were read and procedure print was used and we don't have any maroon error, error codes and so that tells us things went well. But where is it? I asked it to print. Where does it print to? Um, let me move this little guy. This is my recording thing. Um, you can see I like to always have my three windows uh, just so I can easily toggle between the three main windows. Um, so here, here's where it prints. This is the output. You can see up here, output, and um, this is the information. Now, if I want to physically print this, I uh, I find it easiest to just highlight it all um, and and print it. Uh, for some reason, it's just quirky. It's best if you grab the information that you want to print just right here. I, I don't, I can't explain why, but things get quirky if you start doing something like this. I, again, I don't understand why, but who cares. Um, file, print, and you can see it's already selected selection, so if I wanted to, I could send this to my printer, and it would print the selection. So let's preview you know, what that would look like. There you go. And we'll go through, probably in future videos, you know, how to format and uh, you can change, all, there are all kinds of settings you can do. But for now, understand that your output window is where um, your proc statements are often displayed. If, for example, in the future, if we do something, we want to calculate the means and all that kind of thing, that all is going to be displayed for us in the output window. And so, this is in my way right now, and I'm going to purposely make a mistake here. I'm going to close this. Okay, well, and let's say it comes, you know, I want to run this again. Okay, it says it went successfully, but look, I can't find the observation, I'm, excuse me, the uh, output window. I closed that. Well, it's not the end of the world if you know where to find it. So go back up to view, and I can get my output back easily. Likewise for the other windows. You're never fully lost um, because you can always go up to the view portion, which is an important thing to realize. So I showed you how to print um, from the output window, but you can also copy things and drop them into Word if you, if, if you need to for a project or something. Um, so, um, you know, and there's my output there. And I want to show you too that everything I've said about the output window applies to the other windows also. So you may need, uh, if you're a university student, you may need to show your code so you can just, I'm just doing control V for control for paste. You can also, of course, just press paste up here. Um, and I've copied, I did control copy from here. So you can also do, I should have done this probably, you can just do copy. Um, and then another skill we'll find, a lot of times when you're coding, you, you wind up recycling your code. I mean, you, you want to, it's just nice, if I want to make a slight alteration, it's nice to do control copy and then control V and paste and maybe, you know, I'll call this quick two or something and slightly, ch you know, change some of these or I don't know, just who knows, maybe I'd want to delete that part of it and then run this guy and look, you know, this is a good example. The log is what I want, but the output is in my way. I'll just minimize the output and there's the log. Um, so things went well in in SAS data in the Explorer tab, I can see, you know, there's quick two went in, okay. So copying and pasting is important, um, and being able to copy and paste into Word documents. The same goes for this. If you need the contents of your log, then uh, of course you can do you can 
uh, copy and paste from it also, or you can print. And so here we are back into our Word document, and um, there's the contents of the log. Of course, I can come in here and delete things I don't need or add comments or what have you. So you should be, um, hopefully, uh, fully comfortable really with the working platform, you know, how to navigate around the windows of SAS and these menus up here. Um, we haven't hit all of them, but we've hit the important ones to get cranked up uh, working with SAS. Uh, future videos we will talk about uh, m importing data, creating data sets, and uh, so look forward. Thank, thank you for your time.